All right, good evening, everybody. The Mossberg 308 patrol rifle. Uh, I'm making this video the same reason I make most of my videos that I don't see a lot of other channels that I follow talking about it. I when this rifle came out, I immediately looked into it, and the most I saw was like Lucky Gunner talking about, I think, the 556 version. Um, I think I know of one other channel is also it's even as small as me or maybe a little bigger. I mean I'm I'm tiny, so everybody's bigger than me. Um, channel wise, talking about uh, this rifle. So anybody interested in this kind of rifle, I wanted to give my two cents on it. The only thing I've done to this rifle is spray paint it, um, put some grip tape on it, and grill a hole two holes into it to place this rail here. That is not um, some <laughs> fancy thing that didn't come on it. I had a spare section of M-Lock and said, huh, this is wood. I can probably just screw a small hole into it, put put some red Loctite in there and screw it in, and it's been totally fine. Uh, this is not the polymer stock. Uh, I think they initially said this was gonna be polymer, because um, I bought one of the first generations of this rifle. And no, it's not polymer. It's wood. It is flat out wood. It's a light wood. I not a. I don't. I couldn't tell you what what it is, but it is a wood stock. Um, if you scratch this, you will not see plastic. You will see wood once you get past the paint. Uh, both, and I mean the paint it came with. You got to scratch a little harder to get to the original paint now. Um, good quality is this rifle. Uh, taking that ten to five or 20 round, 25 round magazine, whether it's a SR25 mag or I believe an M1A mag, this will take both and I have tried it with both. I just stick with SR25 mags, but it will feed both. I have had no issues with the feeding, um, not at all. I've shot quite a few rounds through it. I mean, nowhere near like in a 5.56 gun, but I've shot a thousand rounds probably through it. Over the, the mini, and that shows you how little I shoot this gun. Over the years I have had this, I've only shot about a thousand rounds through it. Maybe less. No, nah, probably a thousand. Probably a thousand. Uh, things to know for the good. It is def the 16 inch barrel. It is definitely an MOA rifle. Um, when I zeroed it, I zeroed it at I believe it at a hundred. Um, I've got to test it again. That's why I'm not taking it hunting this Saturday. I'm going to take my 506 hunting because I've been shooting it more. I know it better. I have a good round choice. Um, and I, I know within my range that I'm probably going to be hunting where I'm going, 556 would be plenty for these deer. Now, back to this guy. I've shot this is what it's uh, zeroed with. The Horny Black 168 AMAX. I have shot it with this. Oh, oops, that's upside down. The Pre Partisan 168 grain. And I have shot it with this. The AAC recently, uh, the, if I can get that, you're going to have to trust me. I can't get the thing to focus. 168 grain. This rifle loves 168 grain. Um, it is a 1 in 10 twist, 16 inch barrel, and you will get absolute MOA or better if you got a better rest or just a better shooter than I am. I'm, I'm a pretty dang good shooter, but uh, on this gun, for me, coming from AR so much and specifically just that grip, something about that grip, I feel like I don't have as much purchase. Um, pulling it back into my shoulder to keep it stable and reaching the trigger for me. I don't think it's like a pull issue. I think it's just an angle of the grip, kind of like with a pistol. Sometimes if it, if it doesn't fit you right, um, you can be accurate, but you can't be as comfortable and accurate at the same time. Uh, that's the thing for me. Like, But it's a bolt gun. You don't have to be, to be fast and accurate, but it's accurate. And it... it Definitely serves purpose. It is not too heavy. I have the uh, primary arms uh, 4 to 12, 4 to 14, 4 to 14 on this one with the lever. Um, lever works great. 
the stock, like I said, is wood. And so I actually screwed in a piece of M lock section I had into the front of the stock. That is not an original. I added that. Um, I was worried, like, you know, am I going to split my, my wood here? Am I going to do this? Am I going to, you know, screw up the rifle? Uh, nothing. It, it, it affected zero, uh, zero things. So I am comfortable mounting the bipod there. It has kept that MOA accuracy the entire time. No issues. It feeds well. It shoots well. Um, when the muzzle break at the kick isn't, isn't terrible. Um, obviously, there are lighter kicks. I think for me, I'm getting to the point where with my 308, knowing there are other rounds out there, like uh, 6.5 Creedmoor, 6 Mooner Arc, uh, 6.5 Grendel, um, I'm starting to wonder, is the juice worth the squeeze for my 308? Now, I will not be selling my 308, I don't believe, at all, um, because you can get 308 everywhere. And bolt guns aren't on anybody's radar to ban. So I want to keep a bolt gun handy. That way, if for whatever reason I need to go hunting, uh, it has an attachable 10 round box magazine and they say, Hey, you only have 10 rounds and you can't be seen out. Well, I've got that here. I've got, to, I can put a five round mag in there. It's my crap goes to crap. I have a legal gun. I can go hunt, do whatever I need to do with. And, no one's going to say, hey, that's too tactical. That's too dangerous. Um, I thought about getting the Mossberg 5.56 to go along with this. However, I will caution everybody away from 5.56 version of this if you shoot heavy grainers because the 5.56 version, all, all the ones I've seen, are a uh, 1 and 9 twist. And when a nine twist for five five six, they are marginal on stabilizing anything over seventy grains. Um, actually, sometimes even down to sixty eight grains, sixty nine grains, they're 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 questionable. Well, I'm stabilized that for seventy five grains, seventy seven grains. That one nine twist is a hit and miss. Whether or not that rifle likes a particular ammo, my rifle and this three hundred eight loves one sixty eight grainers. If I shoot one fifty grainers through it, it's a shotgun. Um, I don't have video evidence to prove that, but I took all three of these loads out before to 300 yards, um, and they were a three inch group. Uh, most recently, I believe I took the pretty partisan or the AC out at 400 yards, and it was like a four and a half, five inch group, and I was being lazy. Um, so the rifle can do it. It can absolutely do it. Just because I'm not the biggest fan of my 308 right now doesn't mean that this is not a very good rifle. And I'm actually looking at fixing my problem with I have the stock and going with a the Howl Oryx stock. If anybody knows anything about that. I've looked some videos up that it's pretty good. Uh, I'm not so much interested in you know even more accurizing my rifle, but really just changing that grip out. If I could do it a cheaper way, I mean, $400 is expensive, or I think it's $450 now because of inflation. Thanks, Biden. Um, and I can get rid of my bootleg, a little uh, M-lock rail. Um, I'm considering it, but at the same time, I take that money and just go buy a 6 mil arc upper and have half the recoil, the same range, um, not as much knockdown power, absolutely, but when you get, you don't need that much to take down an animal or a threat at range. Um, the big deal is <clears throat> getting the bullet out there, not how much knockdown it has out there. If you can hit a target at distance, that's the thing. It's getting the muzzle energy, I'm sorry, not the muzzle energy, the muzzle velocity to and a good bullet to carry that energy downrange. Uh, and being accurate with that load to hit downrange. I know this thing gets transonic around 800, 900 yards. 
Um, it's a little past my my five five sixer because it's it it it's shooting around twenty four hundred feet per second with these loads, and with that sixteen inch barrel, and it's it's performing pretty well. Um, I can still use my BDC in the ACSS reticle. I just hold a little higher than probably would be at a, on a twenty inch barrel because I'm pretty sure the this is the three hundred eight uh, reticle they have in the three hundred eight two two three reticle. And all I've ever had to do is just hold higher um, on my given target. And I hit just below my crosshairs uh, past, I think it was 400 yards. I hit a little, a little below my crosshairs. Because I've taken this thing, they got a 600 yards on a competition and just ping and steal every time. And that's all I did. I was a little higher, compensate the fact that I'm going to hit lower than the reticle says. And I, I'm pegging steel. I'm able to work that bolt very fast. Uh, the bolt works phenomenally. Um, the trigger is stupid nice. Uh, and that's really all I got on, three, on the this uh, Mossberg MVP Patrol 308. It's a long name. I think about it. Uh, they don't make their sticker model anymore, but if you're looking for something else like this, it's a good one. It is a good one. The accuracy is there. Uh, it's a 308, so you're the hits there. And you can still do a lot of good work with a 16-inch barrel 308. Um, it carries, if you're going to go hunting, it's going to carry its energy of a, over a 1,000 pounds to about 400 yards. Um, that's that's a lot of energy, so you can take down whatever you want. I remember the old adage I heard when I first worked at a gun store was, if you got a 308, you can literally take down any North American game. Um and you can shoot out real far. Uh, I, I just think that there are now cartridges that have a lot less recoil and still have good muzzle energy on target and less wind drift and less drop, like 6 Arc, um, obviously 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, and I'm looking at some other cartridges. I'm really leaning towards 6 Arc right now because of the velocity and a relatively short barrel, like a 16 to 18-inch 8 inch barrel. But if you want a good handy 308, the Mossberg 16 inch is really good. Just if it's still a 1 in 10 twist, just feed it 168 grainers and you will be very happy. If you feed it 150s, 155s, you'll probably not like it, the accuracy. Um, so yes, you'll be screwed on mil spec ammo. That's 147 grain. But I mean... It's not hard to get 165, 168 at at Walmart at anywhere, and I always recommend everybody to have a gun that's a bolt action or at least that no one's looking to try to ban. Keep that with you for reasons, so that you can go legally hunt, do whatever other stuff without mainly hunting, um, hitting things at range without you know coming back from a hunt and saying oh that gun's blah 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 and like, no it's not it's a bolt action it's a 10 round magazine it's a five round magazine if you needed to be this is a good practical rifle to have because it's not a scary black rifle it's not uber tactical having a bipod and a scope is still very common um and that's no big deal oh and i have my sling set up here um uh, so I can carry it almost like an AR, uh, but I probably would place that sling. That's not the best sling. But yeah, um, if you're looking to see how accurate, how good these things feed, look up Mossberg. You will not be disappointed. All right, get out there, train, shoot, all that jazz.